Hello. 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 How are you, Savila? Good to see you this lovely day. Very, very good. Okay. I'm Dr. Susan Akinwalire, and I'm a lecturer at Oxford Business College. Yes. And with me is Savila. This event before us is called Students on the Hot Chair, a live event that is being hosted by Oxford Business College. And like I said, with me is Sabila. Now you can see Salsa Bill on there, but the, 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 what I call her is Sabila. That's something Everyone, very, everyone yes. calls her. Everyone calls her Sabila. And she said, Dr. Susan, just call me Sabila. I'm fine with it. Now, let me say a little bit about Sabila. Sabila is one of my brightest students. She is very, very competitive. And, and I like the healthy competition that she displays, especially when it comes to academic matters with her colleagues. She is amiable. She is personally personable. She's got a very personable disposition, very pleasant to work with. And one thing that strikes me most about Savila is that she has always displayed leadership skills. She led her group presentation last semester. And in this situation, she allocated tasks. She coordinated the exercises between her and the colleagues. So this made her very, this made her stand out. And it was very, very um, highly impressive. And she also has a sense of humor. She displayed some uh, one or two sense of humor during the presentation uh, where she introduced a joke or two. And this relaxed the colleagues, her colleagues within the group, and they did quite well in their presentation. Now, all these attributes were impressive and they stood out for me. And I will like to welcome Savila to this event. Welcome to Thank this you. event, Savila. How Thank are you, you feeling? Much, Susan. I'm yeah. feeling very well. I'm feeling very <laughs> well. Very 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 good i'm feeling very well i'm feeling excited about what we have planned for today yeah. now before we start i just want to briefly talk us through these uh this live event we, we are going to have questions in two parts now the first part of our question will be a bit standardized where i'm going to ask you questions about your experience so far within obc Yes. And the second part of this interview will be free-flowing, casual, where we're going to talk about your hobbies, your interests, your traveling and all that. So please feel free. We are going to enjoy this show. Good. Of course. Hello. Are you ready, Sabi? Yes. Very good. Yes. Now let's kick this off. Why did you decide to enroll at OBC within the Oxford Business College? Why? Why? What stood up for you? The OBC has been presented to me uh, by a friend. Um, I've always been thinking of doing business studies, and OBC was a really, really good opportunity, especially when it was Monday, Tuesday, or weekends. Yeah. And um, the timings, they were good because I was working too. And I was like, okay, let's, let's join the experience. Yeah. Uh, it's going to enable me to get some knowledge and everything, and we will see what will happen. Very good. So you were able to establish a perfect work-life balance. OBC yes. offers you that with the yes. timetable and with your job and with the commitment yes. that you had. That's amazing. Very good. Yeah. So what has your experience been so far? Because I'm sure you've got amazing, lovely experiences within OBC ever since you joined. So what has your experience been so far, Sabila? It's been really, really well because we were um, encountering students from all around the world. Yeah. And the tutors, they are very, very helpful. Like before we were, on, we were on the space of the university, we were at, in the college. Uh, the, the, the tutors have always been helpful, but now since we are online, they email us and they email us the slides of the lectures, they email us a lot of help. Um, when we e email them a question, especially like you, Dr. Suzanne, you answer us <laughs> in a few minutes, but uh, other tutors, they don't answer us so fast, but they do answer like a few hours or a day or two days. No, no, it's a very, very good um, experience in OPC. 
good. And I'm so glad that you've had this amazing experience with OBC. And I'm hoping that lecturers and students who are listening to this will feel motivated to understand that OBC is really determined to give its students the best experience so far. I'm glad you feel this way. Thank you, Sabila. Good. Now, where do you see yourself in five to 10 years time? I know you've got great plans ahead for yourself. So could you briefly tell, uh, tell me where you see yourself in five to 10 years? So after my degree, I see myself becoming a financial analyst. Yeah, that, that is to, to, not, to start, let's say, the, the business life. And once, uh, once I will have enough money, I will open a coffee shop Mm. and um, because coffee, I, I love coffee. I, mean, I think coffee is the best thing of the world. I don't know, I love coffee. So, uh, good, yeah. good. Yeah. Perfect. And, and drawing on from what you said about coffee, I don't take coffee. I've never really? taken coffee. Yeah. Oh, I've, I've never taken coffee. But do you know the aroma, the aroma that of that coffee that is it's amazing. So hopefully it's possible that when you start your own business, I will be able to have a taste of coffee. Very, very good. And this I'm brings sorry. Me... I'm so sorry yeah. I was distracted by someone. That's that's right, yeah. I mean these things it's happen. Possible that I answered to him for one minute. Okay, that is fine. Just Never sorry. mind. Yeah. Hassan? Hassan? Sorry, so, I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry. No, no, no worries. Uh, he was asking me for my for his laptop that I took. Because okay. I, I took his laptop. Okay. Let me okay. That's it. I'm, I'm sorry. Very good. Very good. No need to apologize. This is a live event and things happen. So things yeah. that we, we haven't planned for. But that's all right. Good to have you back. Now, now drawing on from where you see yourself in five to 10 years time. I want to talk about briefly about your dream business. You have mentioned that you were going to open a coffee business and I have just yes. explained to you, I don't take coffee, but the aroma of coffee is quite strong and I love it. Yeah, but in the yeah. coffee shop, you will yeah. have tea uh, also, you will yeah. have juices, you yeah. will not only have coffee, so yeah. it's for everyone. But the That's, main thing will yeah. be coffee. Yeah, that's. I literally, that's, I look. You know the the, the, um, the coffee beans. When yeah. the people that put the coffee beans into the machine, I look like, wow, <laughs> I love it. It's and tantalizing, think, tantalizing. Yeah, yeah. and I hopefully, the, and the hopefully when you, yeah, carry yeah. on, carry on. <laughs> the benefits of this job, if, if yeah. I own a coffee shop, yeah. I, I own this coffee shop, and I. Yeah. I I do, I can work in administration, I can work okay. in anything I want. Yeah. But sometimes if I feel like it, I can be just a simple waiter serving coffee. Yeah. And I really, yeah. really like that because That's I good. worked in a hotel and I love uh, hospitality That's and good. serving customers. I, I, yeah. Something I really love. That's good. That's good. And you have you mentioned also that you would like to be a financial analyst. So having yes. this business could be a side thing. It could be something yes. that addresses your hobby. So you could still be in a in, in a white collar job and yes. still have your own personal business. Something yeah, like a hobby. Right. yeah, or an interest. It's complicated to to do yeah. both. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Especially that in 10 years, I hope I will have children. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Amazing. So what will your dream? Can you tell us more about what, how your dream business would, would be like? Uh, uh, the question is, what will your dream business be? I know you have mentioned coffee. Is yeah. it coffee? Can, can you shed more light on that? Um, uh, coffee, yes. And also... Thanks to the dream business, I will be able to travel. Yeah, I'll be yeah. able to sometimes be a waiter, sometimes yeah. just be my, even a cleaner because I love cleaning. Okay. It's crazy, but I love cleaning. I yeah. love washing dishes. Yeah. And I love, <laughs> I love being also the manager or something. Anything, yeah. I just love it. So that's, that's yeah, my yeah. dream. Yeah. 
That's right. Yeah. So even you have just mentioned you're, you're, you you are interested in in a hospitality business. So yeah. even when you run your own business, yeah. you can also exhibit management skills yeah. with the manager and also undertake these chores yeah. such as cleaning and, yeah. and and waitressing and and serving customers. So yeah. it's all it's all a combination of what you actually are interested in. Or yes, and, and I think coffee is the best um, thing to start a nice yeah. yeah yeah you have yeah. a nice conversation you, you need a cup of coffee i don't like <laughs> it. i like it but you don't want to have to have a conversation with my best friend that i love yeah. so yeah. much yeah. she doesn't drink coffee and i say <laughs> don't drink tea with me drink coffee with me please <laughs> it's amazing so yeah that's we need to do the same thing yeah <laughs> Thank you, Sabella. That's very interesting. And, and this kind of brings me to my next another question. You are quite fluent, Sabella, in speaking the English language. Do you speak any other language aside English? Yes, yes. I, I speak French. Oh. Uh, I used to speak Spanish, but I forgot everything. <laughs> and uh, I speak uh, Urdu and Punjabi oh. as well. This is a Pakistani language. Uh, okay. I'm in Pakistan right now okay. because it was lockdown in England and I don't want to stay in lockdown. Yeah. Right. <laughs> um, yeah. And it's so sunny here, you know, 25 yeah. degrees. Mm. Fun on. Yeah, fun <laughs> on. Yeah. And, um, so, yeah, I speak yeah. Four, four languages. Yeah. I can't put Spanish anymore, but I used yeah. to speak Spanish. But yeah, yeah, and you speak French fluently, don't yes, you? Yes, it's, it's my native language. I'm born in yeah. France. Oh yes. my God, that's quite interesting to know. Do you know when I was a child, I learned a few vocabs in French. I know bonjour, I know <laughs> bonsoir, I know bonne I know comme ça va, ça va bien. I know comme tu t'appelles. Am I getting this, Sabila? Yes, but um. <laughs> You, you have an accent. So it's bon, bonjour. bonjour. Okay. Yeah. You can see I'm not. I'm not. I'm not fluent. No, you're not fluent. You know. You yeah. Know and I know au revoir. Au revoir. I know assez vous. These are au all revoir. French. <laughs> but I'm au trying, revoir. aren't I? I'm trying. I'm trying. You're very good. You are very good. good. And fun enough, I watch a lot of French movies and I picked up on these vocabs, French vocabs, when I was still a kid and I have not forgotten them. That tells you how interested I am in learning the Yeah, it's language. true. And, you, and yeah. maybe you have a auditory, you are an auditory learner. Yeah. Because I am an auditory learner as That's well. That's right. That's yeah. why you pick up languages very fast. Then. Very fast. Yeah. Very good. Very interesting. What interest do you have, Sabila? What interest do you have? The interest, um, the main interest I have, so it, it is my coffee shop, as I said, yeah. Yeah. is uh, traveling, yeah. uh, writing books, uh, yeah. novels, yeah. Um, yeah. And, um, other things like uh, just just to be with my best friend. Honestly, That's it right. is one of my interests in life. <laughs> and, yeah. uh, <laughs> And yes, traveling and having a simple life, simple good, things, good. and interacting with uh, guests, hosts, mm. uh, what do you call that? Host, I think. Yeah, yeah. You are the host. Yeah, you, uh, yes, hosting. you are. Yes, hosting, yeah. hosting, yeah. Because I've been mean, working in a hotel. Yeah. And hosting is, for me, is yeah. very. If I could, I think I would open a hotel, but I don't. I, I don't want to go into too much. I think coffee shop is simple and nice. And yeah, yeah, but, yes. And you might be looking at at a very huge startup cost to open a hotel. So perhaps, yeah. Yeah, so ha perhaps starting small, um, yeah. having an affordable uh, money to open up a, a, a coffee shop will be the best way to go. And then hopefully things might change in the future and you might receive some sort of sponsorship or funding for a, for a hotel. So fingers yeah. crossed. Yeah, very yeah. good. Good. Now, now, Sabila, you mentioned writing novels and I, I, I love novels. Growing up, I read a lot of novels. Now, 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 what sort of novels do you write, Sabila? So, the novels I write, I, I can't really put a name on it. Um, it it's, um, it's, it's like, it's actually like um, a crime thing at the same time. It is mm. a crime thing. It's mm. very interesting. Yeah. But the thing is, it's between, it's, I don't know if I could say that romantic because it's between two, two friends. 
not mm. between a couple. Okay. It's two girls, two yeah. friends. Yeah. For me, it relates to me and my best friend. Yeah. Sorry, I talk about my best friend a lot, but <laughs> that's uh, okay. <laughs> and that's why um, it, it's yeah, it's, it's in two friends. It's mm. a bit like crime as well, mm. but it's a bit romantic. But it's not really romantic because it's two girls, friends. Yeah. So I don't yeah. know how to say that. It's really yeah. heart touching. The story yeah. is very heart touching. But I think yeah. if it was a couple, people would call that romantic. Yeah. But yeah. I don't want to call that romantic. I don't know how yeah. to call it actually. Yeah, yeah, and and it, and it and it sort of a, 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 it involves a, a crime as well. The, the, the it's a story of a queen. Yeah, the story of a queen and and yeah. her lady in waiting. Basically. Okay, good. And you've yeah. begun writing. You've begun writing this novel, Sabila. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, all right. So how? When? I don't tell you the end. Okay, don't. I mean, please keep me in suspense. <laughs> I like a suspense field. Um, um, it's inspired. Uh, I, yeah. I can say it's, it's inspired from the history of England. That's oh, okay. all I can say. I'm not gonna mention. Okay. 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 Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, when the novel comes out, we will be able to read it in depth and find out much more about it. Do you have yeah. a time frame? Do you have a time frame for when the novel will be completed, Savila? Oh, I don't know. I have okay. so many things to do. Yeah. So okay. the novel is uh, yeah. not even a priority for me. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. But hopefully, in due time, we yeah. will. You will have it completed, and then we will have um, a, a sneak into it and see how good it is. Hopefully, it'll be good. You know, I I love crime novels, so I believe I'm yeah. going to really enjoy this. Any <laughs> crime and relating yeah. to the royalty. Yeah. Royalty, yeah. because it's a it's a queen with her yeah. lady waiting. The okay. two friends. Yeah. And they're gonna do everything to. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. That's a that's an interesting combination, crime and royalty. Okay. Yeah. We are waiting. Okay. Very good. And you mentioned that you like traveling. Can you tell me any places you have been to? And so, in, so where what stands out for you in those uh, places where you have been to? Terms of traveling. So um, I've been traveling to Italy, uh, yeah. France, of course, yeah. Germany, Spain, um, England, obviously, yeah. uh, and Pakistan as yeah. well, yeah. Switzerland, yeah. Mm -hmm. and I think that's it. Seven, that's seven. Good seven places you yes. have really traveled far and wide that's interesting good i and love tra good and in traveling you have picked up different cultures and different ways of of, of yeah. living that's good that's good perhaps that's mm -hmm. why you you are so good when it comes to languages because traveling and meeting yeah. new people it goes hand in hand with developing yeah. a love for language very very good good Good, Savila. So, it's so a final, a final question for today. My final question for today to you will be: Do you think studying will help you achieve your dreams? Do you think studying within OBC yes. will help you? Yeah, definitely, definitely, because it's a start. There's a start for anything, Good. Good. and to jo to gain experience and to know, like for example, now in our mm. module mm. of um, so I can't remember the name of the module yeah um with um okay i'm so sorry i can't remember the name that, of that's the fine one. that's fine there is we have organization behavior we yeah have, um data insight okay uh, the other one oh, i'm so sorry anyway i can't remember financial Financial decision management. Are you undertaking that as well? Uh, I think it's in, in my no, 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 the other one, the other one. Okay, all right. It it has just escaped my mind now. But yeah, for that, has, time, yeah. Can I yeah. get my book and I it's on Okay, my all right, all right. Carry on. All right, it's uh, it's on page viewpoint. Oh, career viewpoint. See the yeah. thing. Very good. So it's career viewpoint. Good. We are. It's almost like we. Are, that's it. We are making our future. We are trying to yeah. see what because we have to cho choose industries in which we will be working. Working. Um, create a LinkedIn account. Mm. Update our CV. Uh, mm. Do it like we apply to these jobs. That's right. We are actually gonna see what we are gonna do in the future. Thanks. Good. To this of good. course, it's very helpful. 
Very good. Very good. So OBC is not just offering you a certificate. OBC is always de also developing key, key skills that you yes. need to excel right out there in the world. So that's quite good. So that's good. That's good that you're sharing this. Perfect. Good. Yeah. Now, I'm just going to pick up on the chat from um, Facebook. Thank you. I've got one from, from Gabriel. Okay. It's saying one of the positive lecturers from OBC, Dr. Susan. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Gabriel Tintui, for that amazing impression you have just shared. I really appreciate it. Hey, it's, it's good. right. <laughs> Very good. And I've got a question from Anna Bell Terchi. As a student, how can you improve your communication skills? Do you want to share a bit um, of, of that with us? It's interacting. Don't good. quiet. Just interact. And, and, and in OBC, you know what? There are yeah. so many people that do so many mistakes yeah. and that tutors help. That's and you don't have to be scared or shy to mm. make a mistake in anything. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. And yeah. we say that sentence in French, the, um, so I have to, I have to translate that sentence into English. Carry on, um, carry on. And the stupid ones okay. are those that don't admit that they are stupid. Okay. All right. Stupid. Yes. Okay. So if you admit that you are saying yeah. something stupid, you're not stupid yeah. anymore. Okay, and, and yes. then yeah, and that's an opportunity to also learn from your mistake and improve. Yes. That. That's yes. very good. Perfect. Is, that sentence means that um, um, stupid people always understand everything. Good, so, good. You understand everything. Then you put it somewhere. Uh, okay, all right. Thank you. And I can see Anna saying hello, Doctor Susan. Hello to you, Anna. We are just trying to answer the question you have posted it's a very helpful one and sabila has said to improve your communication skills you've got to be able to interact interact with one another interact with your lecturers interact with your colleagues interact with fellow students and be able also i'm going to add one or two things to that be able to share your impressions share your ideas especially in the class that helps yes. you a great deal in developing your not just your communication skills but your level of confidence am i am i am i correct yes, of course. Of yeah course. good good it's very important in classes be able i tell my students there are no wrong answers because even if you get it wrong there is still something you got right so yes. be free be free be free to express yourself. That is how you're, you are able to improve your communication skills as well as your confidence skills. And these are needed in the outside world. Thank you for answering that question, um, Sabila. And thank you for posting that question, Anna. Very, very good. Okay. It's been amazing, Sabila. Yes, thank you very much. Good. Very good, good. I think I have come to my questions have come to an end. Is there anything you want to talk about, Sabela, briefly? Uh, are you not disappointed of me or in anything? Uh, did I do the job properly? Oh my, you will be loved once people watch this program. You have been exceptional, as All right. always. Thank you. Thank uh, this you to, to speak to Sir, uh, Mr. Ade, Ademola. Okay, very good. He's teaching you. Isn't he? It doesn't matter if he doesn't give me a lot of percentage, please one percent more than Maria. <laughs> and, that, and that's one thing I love about you, Sabila. This healthy competition. It is what drives students and makes students very efficient and effective. I call it a very healthy competition and carry that on. I don't have a competition with, with other people. Like that. <laughs> I do, but uh, very maybe good. Just my mind, I will not express yeah. it. Yes. Yeah, but with yeah. Marianne, I, I express it. <laughs> I have to have more than that's that. right. And, and Marianne is an exceptional student as well. Yes. So when I see when I see when I see both of you working so hard to beat each other and be the best you can be, it makes me proud. That's a uh -huh. very uh -huh. healthy, very healthy competition. I hope Marianne is listening to this. I hope no, Marianne is listening to you this. You would have interacted. Yes, yes. 
Thank you so much, Sabila. We have come to the end of this live event and it's been amazing to have you on the hot seat. It's not been an easy thing to do, but like I said, you are a very confident person and you have just proved it again and again. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Is, uh, is that going to be somewhere? Uh, it's a live, I know, but is that going to be somewhere as well? Or is it registered? Or I think it's also uh -huh. going to be on, on Facebook, but Onai uh -huh. and Antonio will look into the details. Yes, Onai is saying yes. Not, in, not on Instagram, because I have Instagram. Oh, yes, okay. now you said it's going to be everywhere. He is in charge of this, Onaya. Yes, and also on Instagram later on. So, people better watch out. Very, very good. Be on the lookout, everyone. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much, Dr. Suzanne. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. You take care. Thank yeah. you. You take care as well. You are amazing as always. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, bye you. Bye. thank you. Bye bye. 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 -bye.